Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java output stream class with the help of examples and we are going to see the file output stream class in our example so guys the output stream class of the java.io package is an abstract super class that represents an output stream of bytes so basically let's say if you want to write some data into a file from your program you can use the output stream class or its subclasses in order to perform the operations now guys since the output stream is an abstract class it is not useful by itself that means we cannot create an object out of it so there has to be some subclasses which we should use so basically its subclasses can be used to write the data now what are its subclasses we have the file output stream which we are going to check with the help of examples we also have byte array output stream and object output stream and here are some of the methods that we are going to check in our example using the eclipse ide so over here we will use the output stream class so we have output stream so as you can see eclipse is suggesting us this output stream class over here but it is an abstract class so we cannot create direct objects out of it so we will create output object followed by equal to new operator and then we will use the file output stream instead of just the output stream class so basically this is the class using which we can create the objects now guys as you can see there are multiple constructors in this file output stream class so basically we are going to use the third constructor that takes a string name so basically this is going to be the path of the output file so we are going to use this and inside the double quotes i am going to provide the path of the file now guys we have two files over here as you can see the first file is the java tutorial in which i have the notes of all the java tutorial videos and the other file is the test file that we have used previously in order to read the data from this file we are going to create a third file over here which is going to be the output file so i will provide this path over here i'll just copy this and i'll paste this in between the double quotes and over here at the end after the double backslash symbols i will provide output dot txt so guys this is going to be a text file and the name of the file is going to be the output file now guys we need to write some data in this output file so what we can do is we can use the methods that are provided by this file output stream class now what are the methods as you can see over here write method is there which writes the specified byte to the output stream now this write method it writes one character at a time so we have to use some kind of a loop in order to go through all the characters and write into the file but we also have write which takes array of byte characters so basically this writes the bytes from the specified array to the output stream so guys we are going to have the array of bytes in our case to be returned to the output file so let us check this with the help of example over here first i am going to define the string that i want to write so we have string data and i will say this is a test line from program and then full stop so guys this is a string that we have and this string we are going to write into our file so what we will do is using this output object that we have created over here i can use the write method but before that we have to define the array of bytes so over here we will provide array of a byte over here and then i will say array it is equal to we can use the object of this string that is data so i will provide data dot we have something called as get bytes which will return the array of bytes over here so basically what we are doing over here guys is we are converting this string data to the array of bytes and the data will be stored in this array of bytes over here that we have defined so this method we are going to use in order to get the bytes now this line that is this is a test line from program is stored in this array of bytes for which the object name is array and the same array we are going to store in the output file that has been defined by this output object so we will use the output object over here followed by dot and then as i told you we have the write object now we have multiple methods with the same name that is write which is called as method overloading but it depends on the parameters that we are passing so it is going to be the very first method which takes the array of bytes over here as you can see so we are going to use this and the same array object we are going to pass this in our write method and then guys after that it is very important that we close the connection which closes the output stream over here using the close method so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put output dot close over here which is going to close the connection after writing this data into the file now guys let me just save this file and try running this code now 
so it says error exists in required project java project proceed with the launch i'll say cancel and over here what is the error we have not specified the semicolon over here at the end of this line of code now guys again we are getting another error it says unhandled exception type file not found so what i will do is i will surround this with try and catch block so over here we will say try followed by open curly braces and over here we will close the curly braces and then we will have the catch block over here i'll say exception in case there is a file not found error or some other error that is occurring over here and i will say print this line of code if there is an error so i'll say error i'll say e dot get message that will print the error message now guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so guys as you can see it is saying terminated we have not written anything on the console using the println statement but guys if you go in the directory and check as you can see there is a output file that is already created now so when we open this output file it says this is a test line from program and guys in this way we can easily write the content from a program to the file now guys let us say i want to add another line and i also want to print some statement before closing the connection so that we can get the confirmation that the content is written in the file so what i will do is first of all i will have the print statement over here and i will say content written in file and then guys let us add another line over here i'll just copy this line of code and we will have string data one in this case and i will say this is i will say another line over here so this is another line now guys what we have to do again in the same array since we have already written the array content i will say once again array it is equal to this time we are going to use the data1 and get its bytes so we are going to use data1 dot get bytes over here so the bytes of data1 will be stored in the array now and we are going to use the same line of code that is output dot write and then array in the brackets in order to write the content in the file so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see content return in file so basically this statement is getting printed now we will go in our directory and check the output file so as you can see this is a test line from program and this is another line so both the lines are written in our file over here and guys in this way we can easily write content from a program to a external file guys apart from this we have many other methods that you can use using the output object over here so once you put output over here followed by dot you will see all the methods that can be used in in order to perform your operations so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java buffered input stream class with the help of examples so stay tuned